For many Chinese, owning a car is the culmination of decades of dreaming. But it comes at a price. The air is choked with smog, and the streets are clogged with cars. Everyone loves their car, but hates what it does to urban life. Some cities are even trying to get people to trade in their BMWs and go back to bicycles. Hangzhou is one of them. It's one of China's most famous tourist spots, but it's also a city of 11 million people and home to the world's biggest bike rental scheme. Hangzhou is trying to make biking as attractive as possible. There's a rental spot every 300 meters, and the first hour is free. As many as 400,000 people use the bikes every day. At one local rental spot, by 7.15 in the morning, all the bikes are gone. Checked out by everyone from moms taking small kids to school to white-collar workers heading for the office. The Hangzhou government wants 50 to 60 percent of people to park their cars and either ride these bikes, take an electric bike, or walk, pretty much like they used to do in the old days. But not everyone is ready to go back to being a nation of cyclists. Sales of gas-guzzling SUVs, for example, about the least green cars imaginable, rose 45% in the first quarter of this year. Getting those people back on bikes may be tough. Uh,大家在十多年以前都拥有一个汽车梦 China may be reaching a moment of truth on pollution. The smog in Beijing was so bad this year that it made headlines around the world. And it's not even the smoggiest city in China. Shanghai, Hangzhou. They've all gone car crazy. And now, whether by pushing green cars or even greener bikes, they're all taking urgent steps to deal with the downside of all this car mania. Behind me is Hangzhou's famous West Lake, which is known in China for more than a thousand years as a sort of heaven on earth. But now, after just a decade of runaway car sales, this spot is threatened by traffic congestion and pollution. China's leaders know that ordinary people want them to clear the air and unclog the streets. They know that the future of the harmonious society could depend on them. I'm Patty Waldmeyer, Financial Times, Hangzhou.